this is Leanne Davis. She's a 30-year-old female who's having right rotator cuff by Dr. Warner today. Okay. She has no significant past medical history, but she does take Zoloft every day, and she did take that this morning. Okay. She's got a 20-gauge IV in her left hand there that's running LR at KBO. Okay. Um, Dr. Dealing just completed a right ultrasound-guided right brachial plexus nerve block with no complications. No. Okay. She was really nervous beforehand though, so we did give her four milligrams of okay. IV midazolam. Okay. Um, her vitals have been stable though. Her okay. blood pressure is like 120s over 80s. Okay. Heart rate anywhere from 50 to 60. Good. Okay. And her oxygen is 100% on two liters nasal cannula. Okay. Um, and her respiratory rate is 12. Okay. Uh, she is pretty sleepy after we gave that midazolam, okay. um, but she does arouse to your voice. Um, but I'm going to head to lunch. Do you need anything? Uh, no, thank you. Okay, perfect. Thanks. Hi, Leanne. My name is Alicia. I'm going to be the nurse taking care of you while Tabitha stepped away. How are you feeling? Are you able to open your eyes for me? Okay, I see oxygen. O2 sets is going down to 91%. It looks like we're obstructing a little bit. Leanne, I'm just going to give a little bit of a tent shield here, and I'm going to turn your head to the side a little bit. Okay, I see we have having a seizure. I need anesthesia now. I need help in here, please. Anesthesia now. Alicia, can you tell me what happened? So, Dr. Dillon, we just completed a nerve block about 12 minutes ago. No past medical history, anything significant. Started to become sleepy, and then she just started having a seizure. Okay, so since this patient just had a nerve block, I'm concerned that she's having willful anesthetic systemic toxicity, um, and we need to treat as such. So, Susan, can you start by treating the seizure with two milligrams of midazolam? Once the two milligrams of midazolam is in, I'll have you get the intralipid kit, the last kit, and two bags of intralipid. And, Elaine, if you could grab the code card. Okay, and then as is in, I'm going to go get the intralipid. Okay. I'll get the code card. And then, Alicia, can you stay on um, airway? Make sure she's not obstructing her airway um, and, and vitals. It looks like the two milligrams of midazolam has um, stopped her seizure. Yes. Okay, so Alicia, it looks like that she has not had any recurrence of her seizure activity. Correct. Uh, she's maintaining her own airway. She is. Her blood pressure is stable at 120 over 70. Yes. Um, although it looks like she's had a change in her rhythm. She now has a ventricular tachycardia. Would you tell me if she has a pulse? She has a pulse. Okay, so she has VTAC with a pulse. Um, her blood pressure is stable, but we should get epinephrine in the room um, in case she deteriorates. And if that were to be the case, we can dilute it um, to make a lower concentration. Okay. These are the items recommended to make up a last kit. Having one readily available in your area significantly decreases length of time to treatment, therefore improving patient outcomes. This algorithm is available online from the American Society of Regional Anesthesia. This is the gold standard treatment for last. So Tabitha, could you put the defibrillation pads on the patient? I can. Susan, would you be able to draw up 100 ml of the intralipid since this patient is over 70 kilos? And then Elaine, would you start prepping to start the intralipid infusion at 250 ml over 15 minutes? Yes. Yeah. Here is the protocol for you. If LAST is suspected, lipid emulsion should be administered early. For patients over 70 kilograms, the bolus is to be given over two to three minutes. Two 60 cc syringes are included in the LAST kit as the initial bolus is 100 cc's. First 50 bolus is given. I'm going to give the second. While the lipid bolus is being administered, another team member should be simultaneously preparing the lipid infusion using the Alaris pump. The lipids should be primed using the pump tubing provided in the last kit and inserted into the chamber. Under guardrail IV fluids, choose lipids 20%. To ensure the required 250 mLs runs over 15 minutes per the algorithm, 
the rate of the infusion will be 999 milliliters an hour for the total volume of 250. Start the infusion. I'm starting the lipid infusion at a rate of 250 ml at over 15 minutes at a rate of 999. Okay. Susan, would you be able to get another bag of the intralipid um, in case the patient becomes unstable? We would have to repeat the initial bolus and double the infusion rate. Uh, we have to keep in mind that we should not exceed 12 ml per kilo for this patient. So just in summary, um, this patient had an episode of local anesthetic systemic toxicity after a regional nerve block. We treated her seizure activity with 2 milligrams of Versed and she has not had any recurrence. Right now she is hemodynamically stable after the initial 100 ml bolus of intralipid followed by starting the infusion at 250 ml over 15 minutes. Um, she will have to be transitioned to a higher level of care in the, uh, in the ICU where she should be monitored closely for two to six hours um, to monitor for further deterioration. Last is a low incidence but extremely high risk and time sensitive event that can occur in a multitude of clinical settings where local anesthetics are given and in a variety of patient populations. Early recognition and administration of lipids decreases life-threatening complications and improves patient outcomes.